Hi everyone, meteorologist Matt Gray, filling in for Chris uh, this early evening while she helps kick off our Coats for Kids campaign where you can drop off gently used coats to any Albertsons or Safeway locations. They're pretty much all Safeways at this point. Uh, as uh, we head into the month of October, you can find more information on KXLY.com. This is one of our, uh, our big, our big uh, drives that we do every fall season as we get ready for the colder months we had record heat on tuesday 90 degrees gonna be a lot nicer a lot more fall like as we get into the next couple days and some much needed rain gonna have some fairly steady rain develop overnight cool and showery on thursday but if you want sunny weekend weather well i've got some in spades for you as we head through the, the rest of the evening uh, on Wednesday, we'll see some spotty showers again to work their way up from the south. Really, though, it's going to be after midnight that things really start to get cranking. Here you go. This is a brand new run of our forecast model. And you can see here, after about 9 o'clock, you can see that rain starting to build and build and build. And here we go. This is 6 in the morning. Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, fairly wet. And it's all the way down to the Palouse and the LC Valley, where we're seeing some pretty soggy weather. As this storm is going to bring us much more rain than the last one did. In fact, uh, it's not going to skip us by like the other one did and end up in Montana instead. Now, after lunchtime, things will be much quieter. We'll still see some spotty rain around the region. You don't want to put the raincoat entirely away, but you will be, uh, won't have to worry too much about getting drenched because a lot of that wet weather will be gone. Late Friday night, still some rain in the area. And even early Friday morning, we could still be seeing some showers. After that, though, things will calm down quite a bit. Heading into the weekend, rainfall projections anywhere between a quarter and a half of an inch. That would be amazing if we can get into the upper end of that. We uh, have not had a whole lot of rain over the past couple of months. Sure would be nice to get back on track to have a, at least an average rainfall year. So do we be ready for rain to show up any time of day? Our free 4 News Now weather app will keep you up to date with rain in the region. All you got to do is click on the interactive radar button there. I would definitely bet on more rain in the morning, though, than what you will see around the area in the afternoon. Lows in the 40s and 50s, a little mild, not surprising when we have a lot of cloud cover. And then, look at this, highs only in the 50s and 60s. We're talking about a drop of well over 20, 30 degrees from where we were on Tuesday afternoon. That's the fall season. You get all the seasons kind of smashed together and sometimes within 48 hours of each other. So that's what we've got coming up. We'll uh, even out a little bit as we head into the weekend. That's a beautiful weekend forecast. Highs in the mid-70s, lows in the 50s. Still a little bit warm for the end of September and early October. But I think we'll take it, right? Warming up again as we head into early next week. Not nearly as hot as what we saw at the beginning of this week. Have a great Wednesday night. And uh, stay dry tomorrow. Let's enjoy some much-needed rainfall.